Joining us now in the studios in Johannesburg is the ANC spokesperson Pule Mabi has promised to talk to us about the early retirement or the resignation of uh, the former Premier of Bukonibu Pirima, uh, Premier Supra Mahuma Pule, good morning to you. Thank you so much for coming through. No, morning and morning to your viewers. Uh, yeah, you were listening to my conversation with yes. uh, TK Powe and of course you want to respond to that? Well, uh, not necessarily. Uh, the only one issue I felt uh, required clarity is uh, an assertion that uh, the chairperson of the Northwest would have been put under pressure to tender his resignation as the premier of that province. Uh, I think that is uh, quite inaccurate. Was he not put under pressure? Though? Well, we had issued and pronounced ourselves on the matter. Uh, it is important that uh, the public and members of the media do rely on official positions of the ANC because uh, quite often positions of the ANC uh, tend to be misread for something else. The ANC had a national working committee in the Western Cape uh, where it pronounced itself on this matter. Critically, we said that uh, the NWC recommended that uh, there must be a meeting between officials and the chair of the province, who was also the premier at the time, to try and find an amicable resolve and one that will be able to return that province to levels of uh, stability. Mm. So that statement was issued uh, to the media and yourselves as well. But uh, then you had a situation where on that very Monday, you were being told for the first time by journalists that uh, there is a special NEC sitting. I found this to be strange because ordinarily we in the Department of Information and Publicity at the ANC, when there are such meetings, will be able to issue statement and invite the media either to do uh, doorstep interviews with the Secretary General or to have a photo opportunity yeah. with the broader National Executive Committee. At this point, we didn't do that. All right. So you, know. you say no pressure was exerted on Premier Mah former Premier Mahuma Pilu to resign. And uh, a few weeks ago, we had the president of the Veterans League, Dr. Snugizi Galala, who was sitting on the very same couch yes. saying that uh, the president had met with the Premier and has asked him to resign. Well, That's a good member in standing, isn't it? Well, well, uh, well, uh, uh, when we speak here, we reflect on what are positions of the African National Congress. And uh, we do so because we are given that responsibility on behalf of the movement. So you saying that the we, president had not we, asked him to we, resign? We have been, I must be able to uh, address one simple principle, that where we are now, I don't think that we should be going back on who said what. We are at a point where the premier of the Northwest uh, has uh, stepped down. But we're trying to address this issue that he was not pressurized. Hence, I'm yes. quoting the interview yes. that we had on the yes. show. No, but so you uh, say that, but let, let's talk about the meeting between President Ramaphosa and the former Premier. What was the meeting all about well, when he be, returned from the well, UK? Because I was because I would not have been part of a meeting of two people, if you are referring to that. What I can tell you about is that uh, where we are now, and I, I'm going to try and push so that we move with greater speed, the ANC is not going to exhaust itself on uh, uh, being robbed into whether people were put under pressure or not. The position of the ANC now is that yesterday, the Secretary General, together with the Deputy Secretary General, and uh, the Chairperson of the province, had addressed the media about him stepping down uh, as the leader of government in that province. And uh, the ANC has welcomed this act. It was a courageous act. And perhaps to even quote his own word, he said he would not want to be incentivized with a redeployment. So once a person says that, they show you that uh, they are actually acting out of their own volition and understand that at any given time, the ANC does deploy and redeploy people. Yeah. Why am I emphasizing this point? I'm emphasizing this point because in the broader movement, what actually propels us forward is uh, the need to drive sanity from within our structures. There are words that uh, Comrade Supra, as chairperson of that province, used yesterday that uh, he did not want to find himself in a compromised position where people are saying he is using his position as premier of that province uh, to get back to those that uh, would have been the loudest when there was an impasse in that province. Mm. Now, the movement is healing at this point. We are working hard to make sure that we return the province of the northwest to stability. We make sure that we've got a working health system there. We've got uh, schools that are functional. We could be able to deliver basic services and all of that. So that is what we are charged with. But also in our own working committee, we'll also be going to the National Executive Committee. All of us, and within the context of uh, renewal, 
are encouraged to make sure that we pull together as one. The ANC must be seen to be communicating in one voice as it relates to the direction that the party is taking. But, the, launched, the, but yes. the Premier yesterday, I'm afraid I'm going to have to chip in there due to time yes. constraints. Um, the Premier yesterday said that he will expose those who sort of orchestrated his downfall. He remains the chairperson of the ANC. What is that saying? Will people be purged? Well, I can tell you now that uh, there is no official program in the ANC called purging. Uh, the official program we have in the ANC now, it's one of renewal. We are doing, and to see, look, leaders of the ANC at any given point are allowed to express themselves and uh, put forward their own views. But leaders of the ANC, because they are responsible cadres themselves, uh, are committed to the unity of the movement, and which is what all of us are doing. Yeah, and, and part of what he said yesterday, Pula, was that he is resigning not because of any wrongdoing during his tenure as the premier of Bukonibu Pirima. But we do know that as he was delivering that uh, media address, uh, the Auditor General also was busy with this report and Northwest stood out in terms of irregular expenditure of more than 4 billion rand. That surely says something about his legacy and his performance in that province. Uh, well, I wouldn't want to enter into uh, issues of uh, government, who does what and all of that, because uh, there are numerous other policies which manages uh, the conduct of those who are given different responsibilities in government. Yeah. What is important is that we in the ANC uh, have welcomed but this courageous... But that is an ANC-led province. Yes. Would uh, it not be so, fair to get your comment yeah, on that? I, I, I am saying that I wouldn't want to get into that. I wouldn't want to get into the space of issues of... Uh, audits and all of that because uh, what we had dealt with yesterday was the premier of that uh, province stepping down as uh, the leader of uh, government yeah. uh, which has been welcomed when reflecting they are, on his achievements where, and uh, yes, challenges that are still left where, where there are issues uh, palesa that relate to uh, the conduct of public sector institutions uh, you would know that uh, there's already uh, an IMC that is working there. There's an interministerial committee that is working there. I'm sure all of us would be interested to see the outcomes of uh, their own reports and the different investigations that are being conducted. Right together with uh, what the AG's report has said, we'll be able to know what becomes measures which will ultimately return the province of the Northwest to stability. All right. Now, we do know that previously, on, pre on previous occasions, in fact, the ANC has been talking against the two centers of power where you have a different chairperson from the premier of the province. We're seeing this again, of course, outplaying itself, not just in the Bukonibu Prima, the Free State as well, and the Eastern Cape. So are we going back to the issue of two centers of power again? Well, actually, there's no problem of two centers of power. If you like... Uh, uh, there are more provinces that are led by people who are not chairpersons of uh, provinces. Mm -hmm. The Northern Cape, the chairperson of uh, the ANC there is not premier. Mm -hmm. The Eastern Cape, the chairperson of the ANC there is not premier. So you're not, you're not worried well, about Zulu that? Natal, because, I mean, it is, look, it is, if, if, you, if you really, just for, 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 to put it on record, it's only one province mm -hmm. where the chairperson is a premier. Okay, so and, and that is Limpopo. Because uh, you will know that even uh, here in Gauteng, Comrade Makura is deputy chair, uh, acting as chair, uh, following uh, 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 the elevation of uh, the, the former chair to the position of treasurer general of the ANC now. All right. So, uh, new premier, when are we expecting an announcement? Do we know the NEC is sitting this weekend? Yeah, let's give the, in the National Executive Committee of the ANC that space. Uh, to see it and reflect and then be able to come back and pronounce itself to the public. All right. Pule Ralebo, thank you so much. No, thanks. Many thanks to Pule Mabe, ANC spokesperson, talking to us about the embattled former Premier of Bukonibu Pirima, Supra Mahuma resignation. All right, 7 o'clock.